Hi, I'm Chuck Quinton, founder of RotarySwing.com, here for Game Builders for Eyeline Golf. One of the common problems that many golfers have is the dreaded double chip. Uh, unfortunately, this has earned another nickname in golf called the TC Chen, who of course lost the US Open hitting a dreadful double chip in the final round. So, and a lot of golfers, it plagues them. And I'm gonna give you a very simple uh, cue to understand how to fix this and another way to, to produce more spin on the ball and hit shots that are easier to control around the green. What happens for a lot of golfers when they when they double chip it is they're creating a very steep angle of attack and a steep follow through. And so that's kind of in the shape of a V. So if you imagine if I went down on this ball and came down very sharply on it and then flip my wrist so that the club came up very sharply on the other end, that's how a lot of golfers end up hitting a double chip because the club's coming up very quickly and it catches the ball on the follow through. What you want to imagine is a, is a very shallow path and so more of a U shape. So rather than coming down very steep and then picking the club back up very steep, imagine coming through very shallow back and through. This is going to do a couple things. One, it's going to allow the club to, to the ball to pass the club before you try and catch it on the upswing, which we don't want to do obviously. And it's also going to allow you to learn to use the balance of the club so that when you're coming through very shallow, the balance of the club strikes the ground rather than the leading edge. So apart from getting rid of the dreaded double chip, it also allows you to stop worrying about chunking it by leading with the leading edge on a chip shot. That's the worst thing you can do when you're on tight lies or Bermuda, where here I'm actually hitting a shot on Bermuda grass into the grain. So it'd be very easy for me to stick my club in the ground and chunk this chip shot. So what we're going to do is, first we're going to practice with just one hand only. Take your right hand, take the left hand off the club, and practice coming through very shallow and just imagine the shape of a very wide U. The bottom of the letter U is kind of what you want to imagine. So you're trying to keep the club coming out very low to the ground rather than a very steep flippy wrist. So your hands are going to feel pretty quiet. You're feeling the weight of the club head here and letting the club head release just a little so that you can start to use the balance of the club. If you come in with that leading edge really sharp and stick the club in the ground, you know you're coming down too steep and a lot of times to help get the ball up in the air, golfers are going to try and flip it. That's, we don't want to do that. So imagine a nice shallow U pattern and just start scraping the grass, letting it just, letting the bounce release, and a very wide follow through. So when we go to hit balls, you can practice with just one hand only, very wide, and let the club do the work for you. Don't try and help the ball up in the air. Let the club work through on this wide, shallow arc. Imagine a big U, and keep the club coming low to the ground as long as you can. So now when you go to hit balls with both hands, all you want to do is try and replicate that same feeling. So we're just having a wide shallow arc, the big U. So now I'm going to do the same thing and the ball comes out nice and flat with a lot of spin. So to practice this, the good thing is you can do this anywhere. You don't have to be at a golf course. You can do this at home and get on your carpet and let the club release. Use the bounce of the club back and through and just imagine a wide shallow arc. Don't try and help the ball in the air and this will help you get rid of that double chip.